Hello everybody out there, this is Utsup Singh from Smartic and today I'm going to show you guys how to add custom normals to your clear code. So if you haven't seen how to set up clear code, check out part 1. Now what I'm going to show you guys is well, um, how to add these kind of custom groups onto your covering. So here the flatness is 0 so we can see the normals up here, I can increase the size. Uh, for better visibility now um, These are what we are going to add so um, think of it like um, this feature has been basically created for Car related materials. So let's take an example of a steering wheel So usually a steering wheel has a plastic covering and on top and on that Plastic covering it usually has some grooves to help um, better grip um, adding this to your materials will help you get a more realistic feel so let's see how to add that first go to edit project settings all right open up your project settings and search for clear code now in here clear code enable second normal make sure it is enabled um, def by default by default it won't be enabled you have to enable it now you will have to restart so just do it now I will open it up. Um, I haven't shown you guys how to create this material. Well, it's just some basic material. I put picked up from starter content and quickly changed the fabric. Um, I showed you guys how to disable, how to ac get access to these two options in the previous video. Make sure you just check it out. Nothing special in that. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys how to add custom normal. So first thing, search for um, clear code normal custom output so this is that note now bring in your normals all right so um, create a texture sample and assign your normal map uh, and i right click and create it a parameter now bring in absolute world position node so it will give the position of the pixel in the world um mass since it's a three vector value you have to convert it to convert it into a two vector value so, um, so this is called plane operation from DC axis. Um, I'm going to explain this to you real quickly. Um, I'm dragging in a sphere, applying the material. Now, as you can see here, I've got my material here, but what do I want to do? Um, I want to, um, I'm going to, now as you can see, the texture is moving with it. Now, as you can see here the normals are moving with it since they are already mapped now let's just say um, I'm going to hold alt and duplicate this as you can see here I'm having the same normals and um, the normals are blending in why is that because uh, you see uh, when you are using absolute world position node um, it will return to you the value. It will return you the value um, that this pixel has will be using in centimeters. So now, since it's the three vector value, you have to map it from some direction, and that's called planar projection. So imagine it as a cloth falling on this face. So it will um, fall straight down, stretch um, right around here, then just cover this evenly so um, this part is being stretched when you are projecting from these the axis so top and bottom are well mapped all right so now as you can see here i have this part and just add it into the uvs right now you have to lurk so i want to control this i want to control whether my normals are here or not so how do i control it i will added a scalar value and I loved uh, flat normal and the main normal based on this and set the slider min and max to 0 and 1 all right default you should set to 0 or 1 not negative 1 that's for something I was using earlier um, that's it now as you can see here I have this normal and I can control how much normal how much bump information I want to show now press the now button um, a better explanation for this is let's just say you have this let me slow this down first 
this little point here um no since i can't really show you guys how to blend in normals but as you can see here this the same line is being used in the middle area why is that so the absolute world position node is mapping across mapping this textures to the world so it returns a particular position um for a particular color since it's mapped to the world both these material material both these actors are going to have the same part of the texture mapped to this area right since they are since the pixel is well the pixel ain't changing its position so it's going to share the same color and hence it will be well it will kind of map itself accordingly all right as you can see here so um since they share the same color they seem to blend in and that's it you have your clear code um custom normals on top of it um if you like this video press like button if you want to keep yourself updated about the new videos that will be coming soon make sure to press that red subscribe button and ring that bell icon hope you enjoyed this video have a great day ahead thanks for watching